Hi, it's Diane again. Um, welcome back to part two of the demonstration of some of the new features of the updated Design Studio software. I'm talking about the update that was made on May 20th, 2010. So here's our two hearts, and um, this is the design that I'm trying to make, but I would like to now enlarge that. Um, so I'll draw the box around it, and you'll notice what happens is the one heart that I had flipped goes back to its original orientation. I can go ahead and drag on the handle and make it larger, but if I just say flip now, they'll both flip together, and that's not going to work for my intended design. So I have to click off onto the mat and then just select this one item by itself, the heart to the left, and flip it independently and move it over like so. And now um, I can preview this on the next page. I haven't welded these yet, so I'll show you what happens. I weld them by drawing the box and clicking weld for the entire box, but you'll notice my heart jumped again. So if I click off on the mat, then choose just that heart, choose flip, and then um, click off. I can The weld is preserved, and I can preview the design over here on a clean page. I'm going to use Control L to clear my preview. Control L. Uh, excuse me, that wasn't supposed to come in there. Let's delete that little grouping. And then I can use that same function to clear my page as well by drawing the box around everything and selecting all. I can just delete all the shapes. So now let's just go ahead and try putting a few shapes together. We can go up here where the teapot and the pretty flowers are. And I'm just going to add different shapes, not all in the same box, um, just to show you. Well, this will be an interesting assortment of things. I'm just randomly picking. But I can move them around and um, put them wherever I want on the page. Maybe I'm going to try to connect this here at the top and then have the butterfly coming off it. All I'm trying to show you is that when we make, say that was the design I wanted to end up with, um, I can go like this click weld and weld them all and then if I look on the, net, the blank page for previewing I've got a welded design. Um, however, what I had hoped would be true but doesn't appear to be true is that if I take my uh, box and draw it around and then use the handles to resize, it won't resize this entire group the way I have it arranged. Each piece will just resize and get bigger. So if I control L to get rid of the preview, you can see what I have now. I have kind of a mess. Um, let's go ahead and look at this on the uh, 12 by 12 mat so you can see a little bit better. So what I'd have to do, these are all now proportionately resized, which is handy because I did that all at once, but I'm going to have to move them into the positions um, relative to each other that I had originally made my design. Looks like I have to go further down here. Um, Oh, that's interesting. They stayed grouped. I'm still learning about this, and I guess that's a new feature I hadn't noticed before. You have to watch and see if those little bubbles are still there. Um, okay, so now that I have that, I have my new design all put together, and we can preview that. And interestingly enough, you'll notice this one lost its weld. Okay, I'm learning right along with you, and I mystified why that happened. Um, I know I can uh, go ahead and draw that big box again, and if I get all the bubbles and everything and weld is checked, I should have a welded um, shape when I preview it. Let's try previewing again. No, I seem to have lost my preview. Okay, we'll do this one more time, and thank you for being patient and learning with Diane. There we go. Okay. I'm curious to see what happens um, with the updates that are coming out for the Gypsy this week. I'm hoping that this uh, basically select all function is just a sign that we're getting closer to getting true grouping, but what I'd really love to see is the ability to um, take a bunch of different things that I've put on the mat at different sizes and angles and group them all together, and we don't seem to quite have that yet. I can't keep the group together in the arrangement that I made. I hope this short demo has helped. Um, go play with your software and let me know what you find out. Take care. Um, visit my blog, capadiadesigns.blogspot.com, if you have more questions. Good night.